Sardinia, the second largest island in the Mediterranean after Sicily, offers a wonderful mix of sea, sand, and history. Thousands of stone buildings dot the landscape, proof that people have enjoyed the beautiful climate here for millennia. From the posh Costa Smeralda in the north, to medieval Alghero in the northwest, to the vibrant capital Cagliari in the south, and with many picturesque towns and pristine sandy beaches in between, Sardinia has something for everyone. Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. In this video, we will tell you about the top 10 places to visit in Sardinia, Italy in 2023. Please subscribe to our channel if you want to travel without having to endlessly wait until others are ready to grow. Now let's get started. Number 10. Sinus Peninsula, Theros. The ancient settlement of Theros is located on the southern edge of the Sinus Peninsula, founded by the Phoenicians in the 8th century BC. In the vicinity of a pre-existing neuragic village from the Bronze Age, it suffered first from Carthaginian, then Roman rule, and finally fell under the rule of the Vandals and Byzantines. Gradual decline led to the abandonment of the site around 1050 AD. The area is like an open-air museum overlooking the sea. Ancient streets, houses, shops from the Roman era, a temple and a necropolis are among the ruins that the Sinus Peninsula offers us. You can also visit the small early Christian church of San Giovanni, located near the village of Theros. Number 9. Carlo Fort. It has about 6,400 inhabitants and is the only municipality on the island of S. Pietro on the southwest coast of Sardinia. A quiet and beautiful place with small beautiful beaches and charming narrow streets. A unique dialect that is a variant of the Ligurian language. A testimony to its history, unique in Sardinia. Number 8. Murals of Orgosolo and Mamoyata Museum. Mamoyata and Orgosolo are two traditional Sardinian places located in the heart of the island, in the region called Barbadia in the province of Nuoro. Orgosolo is famous for its magnificent morales, while Mamoyata for its traditional carnival masks. All of these and much more can be discovered by visiting the Mediterranean Mask Museum in town. Number 7. Neptune Caves the most popular caves in Sardinia are located in Alghero and are dedicated to the sea god Neptune. They are about six kilometers long and have been excavated over thousands of years by fresh water. Both are accessible by ferry and up 600 steps, offering stunning views of the sea and coastline. Number 6. Bosa. Located on the northwest coast, it has the romantic charm of river towns and many still living traditions. The historic corner of the city is worth visiting. Made up of colorful houses that rise up the hill on the side. The top of the hill is dominated by the Malaspina Castle, so called by the Tuscan family that built it in the 12th century. The castle can be seen from the historic Ponte Vecchio of Bosa, which is considered one of the 30 most beautiful bridges in Italy. Number 5. Alghero Located on the northwest coast, Alghero still shows traces of its cattle and past, the use of which has been preserved in the Algaris variant and is spoken today in a small percentage. The city boasts a remarkable Gothic-style historic center with the Cathedral of Santa Maria, the Gilat Palace, and the 14th century Church of San Francesco, a coral museum, and a long natural bay overlooking the Emerald Sea. Number 4. Gulf of Orosai. The Gulf of Orosai in central eastern Sardinia is one of the most beautiful places in Sardinia. The famous caves of Bumarino, made of stalactites and stalagmites that reflect in the water, giving us an amazing trick of light. Along the coast, some countries are famous for their gastronomic products, crafts, and archaeological areas, such as Tiscali and Serra Oreos the karst area called Supermonte, the forests of Sutaterra and Giving on the sea slopes of Supermont, Cedrino River, Canyon of Sugarapu, the deepest in Sardinia and one of the deepest in Europe, you can finally enjoy the magnificent seaside landscape. Number 3. Chaya Beaches. Dominated by the tower of the same name, visible from all the beaches, Chia owes its popularity to the transparency of its waters which washed the coast of Chia for about six kilometers. 
In the Chia area, you can also visit the archaeological site of Nora, of Pusian origin, considered the oldest village in Sardinia. The Chia area reaches Capo Spartavento, the second southernmost point of Sardinia, home to the magnificent Faro de Capo Spartavento, a lighthouse still working, converted into a luxury guest house. Number 2. Madalena Archipelago. Made up of seven main islands, the Madalena Archipelago is Sardinia's other UNESCO World Heritage Site. Its waters are clear and clean, and every year it welcomes snorkelers in search of the pristine seabed of the Mediterranean Sea. Full day or half day boat trips are organized. They allow you to visit some small beaches and bays that can only be reached by boat, whose nature is still preserved and whose beauty is breathtaking. These tours usually include visits to Spargi Island, Budeli, where you can admire the famous Pink Beach, Esmeria, Caprera, and finally La Maddalena. Alternatively, you can rent a car on the island of La Maddalena and go on an independent and adventurous tour of the local beaches. Number 1. Jaira of Gesturi and Nurag of Berumini. Located in the central eastern part of Sardinia, hosts a rare herd of small wild horses existing in Italy and Europe, and a park with cork oak forests and Mediterranean maquis. The area is also known for its archaeological monuments, such as the famous Berumini Nurag, the so-called Su Nuraxi, declared an intangible cultural heritage of humanity. Nurag are defensive towers found throughout the island, characterized by a truncated cone shape and built from large blocks of roughly hewn stone using the dry stone technique. Nuravi are defensive towers found throughout the island and feature a truncated cone shape. They are built in huge stone blocks using the dry stone technique. That's all from today's video. Thanks for watching. Remember to like the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you want to get even more empowered to travel, you need to watch the video in the pinned comment below.